Uh, I definitely showed up to X Games that year. Um, not planning to do the biggest flip at the time. I was doing uh, about 45 to 50 foot backflips ramped to dirt yeah. for second gear. And then I showed up in Philadelphia and the section where they had the flip ramp, let's say, or the flip gap led into a big 80 foot perfect BMX style jump. Nice. Dirt to dirt. 80 feet. And I just told my manager at the time and friends, I was like, if I don't flip that before this weekend's over, um, I'm going to be missing out. And I think I probably just in my head the whole time I was there, I just I just couldn't quit thinking about like, man, I cannot wait to get this flip out of the way. But how cool will it be when I flip that other jump? And it just all came together, you know. And uh, yeah. Just amazing times. I, I look at the video uh, every once in a while. You know, people send me a, a post that I'm attached to, and I look at it, and I'm, I kind of blows my mind where I'm like, that's me. That is you. Crazy that I got to live that moment and yeah. share it with my uh, wife and my daughter, where my son wasn't born yet, Myrie. And uh, it's just really crazy to, to look back at that footage and, and my friends that were there that I get to ride with and kind of move the whole sport of freestyle motocross in a direction that really changed the whole way of what people were thinking and where it was going to yeah. go. You know, a lot of, a lot of riders knew right there their careers were done. But yeah. they, if they didn't do the backflip. Uh, you weren't going to get invited to any more freestyle events. Yeah. And so a lot of guys ended up quitting and just dropping off the map. Uh, a lot of guys ended up trying to continue to push themselves and do flips. But, you know, a lot of guys I know have passed on yeah. um, because it's it's an early sport. And you got to take into consideration what you're doing anytime you're on a motorcycle and that those consequences are real. Absolutely. So. It's, it's so real. I mean, you guys, like, especially like you, you make it look so easy, right? It's like so effortless, but it's not, I mean, how much <laughs> training, how much practice, how much work, how old were you when you did those backflips? Oh, uh, shoot, man. So I started doing flips around 2002. Okay. But, you know, leading up to that, Kerry was, you know, doing his scheduled practicing, Leading up to 2000 Gravity Games where he was doing flips on a BMX bike. Uh, working with the guys from, um, what's it called? The camp. Camp Woodward. Yes, yes. So they were helping him out and, like, building a, a setup to where it was, like, um, kind of a resi mat where he could try it on his motorcycle. And he ended up getting hurt a few times. Oh. And uh, I think almost every time Kerry did a backflip, he hurt something in his body and... And uh, it was just uh, awesome for me to be a part of him yeah. pushing everyone and pushing yeah, yeah, me to did. do what I did. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's but how, just how, the whole sport. How old were you when 2006 or something? I don't know. I'm 45 Okay, right so, now. yeah, let's just say 20, just 14. just 45, November You're 30. 19th. Let's just say 30, 28, yeah, yeah. 30. Um, damn. Which is kind of crazy to think. I was 30 years old and still pushing the sport. Yes. Pushing myself. I had... Um, Two kids, and um, well, yeah. actually had one kid. My wife was pregnant at the time with our second. And to just think back, like a lot of people were like, doesn't having kids like, you know, demotivate you to, to like slow down? Or And I was like, no, it's no. not in the back of my head. I, I ride motorcycles still uh, to push myself and learn new things. And that's what kind of, I guess, my dad, you know, taught me. Like if you're going to do anything continue to push yourself and see what you can do. Absolutely. Be the best at it. Abs absolutely. 